How are you doing? I'm Liam O'Sullivan and welcome to The Head Mechanic, the home of plain speaking positivity. Isn't it great to be alive? These days the whole world seems to be obsessed with exceptionality. Why? Simple mathematics would dictate, wouldn't they, that like, only one person or one team or one group can be the best at any one time. And the whole, I wanna, what I want to do in this video is to challenge this whole concept of being the best. People spend their whole lives chasing their tails, desperately seeking to be number one or to be the best. But better than who? And why does it matter? Cream rises to the top, they say. Well, you know what? So does the scum. People say, yeah, we're in a rat race, we have to get on. But that's the problem with the rat race, that even if you win in the rat race, you're still a rat. Who wants to be one? Now, if you're an elite athlete, there may be some sense in this. But most of us aren't, and, and besides that, I would actually challenge that, and I would argue that elite athletes actually use a completely different system than this. So, chasing perfection. Why would you bother? Perfection isn't the same. Well, Muslims have an expression that perfection is for God. And all the rest of us are just fellow strugglers doing the best we can with what we've got. So, do you want to waste your life chasing perfection in this mad battle that you'll never win? Or will you just settle for being doing your best? Doing the best that you can do, being the best that you can be. Because perfectionism is not an attribute. It's not. As a therapist, a lot of the clients who sit in that chair over there come to me because their lives are afflicted by perfectionism. How they're never satisfied with anything they've done because they're always constantly comparing themselves to others. It's a horrible, soul-destroying stressful way to live and it's not good for your health physical or mental you know you spend your whole life in this battle you can't win and the other thing about this this perfectionism is it encourages in people this attitude of tuppence hate me looking down on tuppence you know i'm all right as long as i'm better than him why because what you do by doing that you're putting your your feelings your well-being in the hands of others constantly comparing yourself I can't be happy unless I'm doing better than him. Why? What if he does well? I should be happy for it. <laughs> but instead of you're a perfectionist, if he's doing well, it means you're doing badly. That's a silly, stressful, horrible way to live. Now, the other thing with that is that if you strive for perfection and you fall short, as you will, as you definitely will, then you're a failure. Make no mistake about this. You are a failure. Ugh. Imagine looking at yourself in the mirror every night and telling yourself that you're a failure. Also, the chances are that you're not the best of company anymore because you'd be going around boring the arse of everybody about your accomplishments. Nobody really cares. So, I think, yeah, why not instead adopt this attitude of being the best that I can be today? I'll do the best that I can do today, be the best that I can be today. Because the only person that you're really in competition with in life is the you of yesterday. And if you can seek to improve yourself all the time, guess what? You have a lot more chance of success. If you say to yourself at the start of each day, today I will be the best that I can be, I will do the best that I can, right? At the end of the day, you'll be able to look yourself squarely in the eye in the mirror and say, yes, today I did the best I could. Even if you've had a crap day, you did the best you could. And that means that you're a success. Every day you get to sell yourself, I am a success. So the message here is stop looking outside for your happiness and start looking in. You're doing okay. Tomorrow's another day when you can get on again. You get a whole new chance to, to do what is your only task in life, which is to be the best that you can be today. Whether that means being the best footballer, the best father or mother, partner, brother, whatever, best employee. You get a whole new start tomorrow when you get to be the best that you can be today. So, life's all about choices, and your choice here is quite simple. You can have daily grind or daily strong. Do you want to spend yourself, do you want to try and motivate yourself by beating yourself up, comparing yourself to others, or do you just want to be the best that you can be today? Because I, for one, am absolutely not interested in being the best. No. I am interested in being the best I can be. The best therapist, the best father, the best husband, the best mate. 
All of these things are achievable, but being the best that I can be, they're all achievable. If I strive towards them, I'll be happy. <laughs> if I'm comparing myself to the ideal father, to the world's greatest therapist, I'm always going to be miserable. Who wants to live their lives like that? Your choice as ever. Thank you for listening.